Morning, Chris. Good morning. How it was? That's uh, really good this morning. It's nice and cool out. And yesterday we arrived, we drive some hours. Yeah, yes. we came in from Bishkek, flew into Bishkek at three in the morning. We got here in time for breakfast at, at Narin. Uh, really good place to stay, great food for breakfast. We went out for Asif's uh, food safari last night. So we had the food safari last night. We had more food than we needed. Uh, good night of sleeping. And uh, now we're up to head on into camp this morning. Uh, they said about six hours to camp. So we went from the vans to uh, four wheel drive trucks yeah. now. Uh, we just got done with breakfast. Excellent breakfast. Uh, everything's been top notch so far. Gonna head to camp now and uh, see what we could find. Good. Every <laughs> Everything <laughs> is... Uh, uh, on the horizon, so we'll see what happens. So here we are in uh, Naren, outside of a beautiful town, wonderful accommodations, getting ready to go up in the mountain and uh, go uh, Ibex hunting. We've had a wonderful time so far, five-star accommodations. Everything has gone uh, very well and very well according to plan. So we have at least good start. Let's continue very good start. Yeah. Selamat pagi. Uh, good morning. We're from uh, Naren. Uh, good view, good hotel. Food safari with Asif, all food is good. I uh, almost forgot I'm in Kyrgyzstan now. Yes. We're about ready to go to the mountain, find a good Ibex. Everybody is very excited. Yeah! We were just trying to get the first couple shots off and I feel like if my gun's on, I'm, I'm on. So I'm zeroed at 200. I shot about two inches high at 100. So the first two shots, I was right at two inches high. So we're okay, good to go, you're feeling, Your feeling is okay, I understand. Yeah. Should be good to go in the morning. Good morning. It, beautiful. Snow last Snow night. Snow last night. Yeah. This maybe it's help us today. Yeah. Nice weather right now. Let's see the sun. Good morning. Good morning. Awesome morning. It took four guys to help me put on gators. Yeah. <laughs> Bismillah. Yes. <laughs> Good morning. Oh, Chris. How's it going? Good morning. It's a nice snow overnight. Hopefully it'll stay cool and cloudy and be good hunting today. It's first day, let's see, let's try. We have enough days. If today will be chance, we get. If not, no worries, no, no stress, step by step. Yep, it'll be good. Yeah. Mike, how's it going? Good morning, Asif. How's it going today? It's going very, very how's well. How's your feeling? How's your... I feel no great. headache, nothing. I'm very, very excited, no headache. I feel really well. I'm really looking forward to uh, an incredible experience. Like I said, Chris, it's only first day. It's no stress, no run, step by step, harvesting, investigating, looking, enjoying what is important. Awesome. Just enjoying all the... Looking all forward the to a great day.
color ibex which looks good and remember always if we find one probably near will be another ibex which we, check, we now can't see when we come closer we will find another one but anyway this that look, looks good for now when we come close we understand more Shot over the the one on the right. Yeah, I, I was over, I right? was worried because it's yeah. closed. I saw it, but I shot over him. Uh huh. We had a, a wonderful day today. Um, we were in some the most incredible scenery I've ever seen, and uh, we uh, we hunted really hard today. And it uh, we had uh, quite a storm today too, and uh, had a whiteout for a period of time. Had a drastic change in temperature, and uh, we uh, we gave it a hard day. At the end of the day, we saw four ibex uh, up on this hill, and uh, we were fortunate enough to uh, to uh, make it happen. And uh, I want to thank Asif and my guides for uh, helping me put it all together. Hi, uh, can you can you remember how was distance? The uh, distance was 388 yards. Yeah, what rifle you use? And what caliber you use? It's a um, it's a proof research rifle. It's a seven millimeter Remington Magnum. Thank you very much. We can get to visit trophy and. We continue our trip because we have another people, another hunters. Anyway, you shoot your trophy, <laughs> Mike. We can get late tomorrow. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. So good evening here in Kyrgyzstan, guys. Today is our steak day from the Ibex. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure who shot it because we already has three trophies. My house going. It's going very well, and this meat yeah. is outstanding. Alex, hi. hi. How are you? Good. William, Good. Euro, Chris. Unfortunately, we have not our big friend Jay, who is on the way back. We still don't know. We hope he will back with trophy. Anyway, good appetite, guys. Here we are in Kyrgyzstan. Good appetite, guys. Good appetite. Oh, here's our steak. Yes. <laughs> Uh, today is our second day in camp. Uh, 
I hunted with uh, Michael yesterday and he was able to get his uh, Ibex in the evening. So uh, this is my first day on my own out here. Uh, we weren't able to come out in the morning. The fog was really, really heavy in this morning. Um, it's early afternoon now. Fog lifted a bunch earlier, trying to come back in a little bit, but we're gonna make a shot at it this afternoon. Beautiful weather, the snow's coming down real light. Uh, if the fog had lift just a little bit more, it'd be really good hunting. Uh, cool enough that they should start coming down off the mountain to feed, so we're hoping we can pick one up today. If not, we got a few days left in yeah. camp. Yeah. I mean, we'll try our chance today because we have still time. So as we decide to better spend time in nature, so probably because it's it's pretty out here. Yeah, it's beautiful mountains, stream right here by where we're going in at. Uh, if we're headed back in where we were at yesterday, uh, there's a couple of lakes back up in there. Uh, some big, like cathedral type uh, rock bluffs, big high peaks on them, spires on them. Uh, really neat uh, country just to see the country, let alone uh, the trophies. Uh, yesterday we probably saw close to 200 ibex in a day. Uh, phenomenal day. Uh, we had some young ones uh, come up right near us, uh, 40, 50 yards. Uh, big herds got within 500 yards. Uh, we had a big blizzard kind of blow in for about uh, 30 minutes or so and it really messed it up there, but uh, they were there and you got to see them and that's part of the adventure, just being able to see the, the animals in their atmosphere. Number four from the first group. You shoot up, you shoot up, you shoot up. No problem, it's wind, huh? It's difficult. Wind, uh -huh. So Chris, it was our chance today, but I can't say it was comfortable because they're moving. Yeah, we, we had them close, but they were over the ridge where we couldn't see them. We thought we could get in closer. We were thinking they lie down, but that moment they start they, moving. They were already moving. Moving. And we didn't know they were. Yeah, right. So when they came out in the open, we thought we had the shot on them. But uh, up, it, it was, was up. It was. We were shooting from way high. Yeah. And the wind is blowing. There's been bad snow at times, almost blizzard conditions a couple times. But the wind's howling through the mountains right now. Yeah. And. Uh, they wouldn't stop, and I, I, I took my shot yeah. and was leading a little bit, but the wind kept the bullet high. Um, normally it had been right on, but it carried through the through the wind coming through here. Um, there's some good good Ibex. Um, Number four. <laughs> yeah, good fourth one. in the line was the one yeah. we were after. Um, they'd been hiding up in these rocks. We thought there was only two up here. But you, yeah, you and realize? It was we saw them probably two hours ago from the valley below on the other side and we went completely around the, the uh, probably three different ridges here to come up from the back side. Expected to see two rams when we got here that had been bedded 
And when I got in there, there were several. Um, more because than it was expected. behind, we, we couldn't they were, see. They were on the back side of the yeah, ridge. Right, right. We couldn't, we couldn't see them on the side of the ridge that we were on. Uh, two were right, perfect silhouetted from when we saw them first. Beautiful on the on the ridge. Yeah. Uh, we're looking up and you could see them on the snow and in the rocks, uh, all white behind them. So they're easy to see up there. They're really, really nice to show. Um, but uh, there were more on the back side of the ridge that we didn't know about until we got over here. And lots of eyes. Yeah. When there's more eyes, uh, anyway, or just one of them that has a different attitude than the rest. The rest may uh, uh, anyway, the rest. anyway, Chris, it was good attempt. Yeah. Let's continue. Our hunt is only the second day. And la yesterday wasn't your day, it was my day, so, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so it's your first, about, first day today for, for and you. We only had about a half a day today. Yeah, right, right. Had to wait till this afternoon because the weather and was so bad this We're morning. expecting better weather tomorrow, let's see. What we need, only just less wind and probably less snow. That's all we need. Hopefully the snow pushes them down. Right, for the evening probably. We've had, there's, there's probably three to four times as much snow today as what there was when yeah. we got here yesterday morning. So the snow's coming in. Good. Finally got out this morning. Uh, beautiful morning, nice and cold. We moved over to another area. Uh, few miles, a few kilometers away from where we were yesterday. Uh, we got a shot on one yesterday, but the weather was bad. So we're trying another spot uh, today. Let's go, man. Good shot. Good shot. Try again if you can. He's step, he's step. Die. Yeah! Good shot, Chris. Congratulations. You got us right where we need Yeah. Yes. You're awesome. I was worried. Thank you very much, bro. Thank you very much. Good shot. Yeah. the 23rd of October, um, just before lunch, about noon, uh, we uh, spotted these Ibex probably two hours ago, and I spent the last hour and a half trying to get in. Uh, came into about 368 yards. Uh, they were on the mountain behind us right here. Uh, a beautiful hunt, beautiful place to be. Uh, Big herd of Ibex, great quality. Uh, the guys did great for me. It was uh, it was amazing. Uh, 
We started out at over 2,000 meters away when we spotted them and we had to drop down into the valley and when we came out we were at 368 yards. A beautiful place, beautiful, beautiful line to shoot. They had us right. So I uh, thank you, thank you Chris for the for the kind words. I agree with Chris regarding what he said. From my side, I should thank you very much to Chris first for his shoot today. It was how what, what the distance exactly in the yard? 368 yards. It's it's as saying <coughs> for me it was perfect and comfortable distance. And I can't say no no angle nothing like. It's, it's yes. just, just you can't be asked for the more. It, it was a great place to shoot. We were almost exactly level shooting across here, which for a mountain hunt but is unheard of. Remember, the guys would spend about 40 minutes to understand how to approach to animals. Yeah. Because it was an open area and guys were thinking, uh, they ask you as a distance. We said the Chris feels good on 500 yards which he did in, in his house, I mean his home. Uh, anyway, we could come closer and last minute, you remember, it's females start twisting, but anyway, our Ibex was staying in a great position. Yeah. Like he, he was right out there in the open all just, by himself. Yeah, he just said, I, Chris, just shoot me. <laughs> I, I, had, I had over two yards all the way around him that was open, so uh, it was a good clean shot to make. Uh, he went maybe 20 yards and then rolled part way down the mountain. So uh, you couldn't ask for more for a way to hunt. Uh, bright sunny day, very little wind. But remember first day, first day <laughs> like yesterday honestly we had some chance, but it was uncomfortable situation. It was wind, snow, and it was like, uh, so I said to Chris, no worries, we have days, yeah. we have time, we have animals, we have great guys here. He is a, so you know good guy and Mamish, if you know from, from my last videos from the um, highlight of the Marco Polo Han November, the, this, that guy also was with us. So we should uh, say thank you for the hunter, for the great shoot, also guides, had great work. And usually this area we were hunting in Kyrgyzstan, we we're happy for everything. Regarding Chris, <coughs> I can say the hunter with good eyes. That surprised me. The first time in my experience, I see the person who can see, so look at an animal, find animal, same as a guide. Sometimes before guides. So, and good discipline hunter, good shooter, everything smooth. We have also uh, Mike shoot the yep. first day, William shoot yesterday, his Ibex. Today, Jay's hunting also. And yep, Jay's William, another area. Jay, yes. And William will go for the second one. So, how to say? I mean, Every day, no, Chris, we have opportunity. Not only every hunter here, okay. if we have four hunters in the group, every day could shoot his trophy. Every yep. day. And we've had some rough weather to yeah. be able to still do that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the first day blizzards, uh, first but then it, it opened into beautiful weather first, like this. First half, half of the day was great. And yesterday was praying, praying to Dvesa, please, we need blue sky, we need no wind. No snow, and we see it today. Yeah. Today was today was a dream hunt. Today's today's a day you always want to have. Uh, full, almost a full moon last night. So when we got up in the morning, it was it was bright and crisp. The river froze for the first time since we've been here this morning. So we had to break ice to come out. Uh, nice cold morning, comfortable on the horses. Uh, the horses great. Yeah. It, yeah the horses did great. I mean, we were in some rough stuff out here, and uh, the horses brought us up here. Um, Even somebody has fatty horse. <laughs> yeah, I, I have the slow horse. <laughs> but, uh, but we're probably what are we? A thousand meters above the the floor yes. of the valley. Yes, it's a. And uh, we've been up dang near this high twice today, um, and the horses got us up here. And regarding trophy, of course, we're not uh, like like. We are not looking for world record anyway. The trophies we like, the skin is great. Chris wants wants prepare pedestal. Yeah, do a pedestal mount. Um, when I saw this one, it I liked it. It, was, it just it, it had the classic curl. It just the curls were there. The weight to the mass down in the lower parts of the horn. Uh, beautiful height <laughs> on him. 
it's just a pretty animal. On the video, I, you will see our video, by the way, I could record in great shot, everything is good. Even I was telling Chris, he looking left, uh, he, he looking left, he looking right, look to us. I mean, but anyway, Chris already selected the Ibex yeah. from the group. And just one shot, when they start to running or walking, I said, can you shoot second? But we realized, no, he just sit, then down. Anyway, Chris, I congratulate you with your great trophy. Thank you. For the guys, guys, thank you very Thanks, much James. for your hunt. Rahmat, Siza, Rahmat. Welcome. So we backing base now. Just some. Now the work starts. <laughs> now work starts. So thank you very much, Kyrgyzstan. We love you, Kyrgyzstan. Thank you. Thanks. Back in camp. <laughs> Just about back to camp. Just got to get the horse ride and the short vehicle ride back. We got a good trophy to take off the mountain. Right, right. Here's the Kyrgyzstan mountains in Medejan Ibex with us. Hi, I'm Mike Davis. I'm here with uh, hunting with uh, Asif and uh, Global Safari Azerbaijan. And uh, I, I would just like to say that uh, I had an amazing, incredible experience here in uh, Kyrgyzstan. Um, everything from uh, being met at the airport, going through the VIP section, which was incredible. ASIF uh, guided us every step of the way. The accommodations were fantastic. Um, it is quite an adventure. It is a long journey out here. It took us several days to get here. But the scenery in this area is just unlike any that, that, that could be seen anywhere in the world. And I've been blown away with every, every turn I take. So um, we we're hunting Ibex and, and the quality of animals is just incredible and the numbers of animals are absolutely incredible. We had an amazing hunt every day. We saw plenty of animals. I actually took mine on the first day, uh, shot it at 388 yards and uh, very happy with my trophy. Um, it's been a wonderful experience all the way through. Accommodations, everybody involved, but especially I'd like to thank Asif for, for being there with us and guiding us through every step of the way because he has really made this trip um, a wonderful, wonderful experience. So. Hi, I'm Alexia Lee from Dallas, Texas area. Uh, I came out here to Kyrgyzstan on Global Safari with my fiance. I uh, wasn't expecting to hunt. Um, really, I just came out here for an adventure. Um, it, it blew my mind. Everything's so beautiful here. I was initially really scared um, just hearing Kyrgyzstan and having it. Um, it was just a scary word to me and just trusting someone that we don't even know uh, to take care of us the whole way. Um, it, it was nerve-wracking but when we got here everything was perfect. Um, the guys here took great care of me. I'm the only woman at camp and they made me feel comfortable. I really took care of me so I couldn't ask for a better um, time here. Uh, I I think as a woman it's it's an amazing trip and, and I would totally go with ASAP and Global, Global Safari for sure. I had my first hunt here unexpected. Um, I'm not a hunter uh, but I was convinced by my fiance to give it a shot and I, I got a, a trophy for myself and uh, just an amazing feeling. Thanks. It let us get adjusted to the climate on the way up. So we went through some high passes. The camp set about 11,500 feet, I believe. Um, very old school camp, but it's everything that you need is here. Uh, hunting is nothing short of amazing. Uh, first day we saw close to 200 animals. Uh, second day we got uh, snowed out for a while in the morning. Went out in the afternoon, uh, got onto animals right away. Third day when I shot my animal, uh, my Ibex uh, took us less than two hours to get up to where they were at, and we were able to get a shot on it, uh, 368 yards. Uh, it was in a herd of close to three, uh, close to 30 animals. Um, the guys got got us right on it. We, it was it was a true adventure. Um, everything about this has been an adventure from the start to finish. Uh, everything's been top notch. Ali here in camp doing our cooking is great. Uh, we got to have. Uh, Russian steam here in 
in camp, so a good place to clean up every couple days. The guys are great at cooking. Uh, the scenery is amazing. The mountain lakes, the animals you see. Uh, we saw a 52 to 53 inch Marco Polo Ram right from the camp. So I have nothing but good to say about this trip. Uh, I'll take it again anytime. I think anybody that enjoys mountain hunting or any type of uh, backcountry hunting should enjoy the coming out here. It's just amazing. Thanks, Asif. Hello, my name is Jay Yokomizo. I'm from San Francisco Bay Area. I'm hunting with Global Safari with a thief. It uh, was a, a experience of a lifetime. I've never been to uh, Asia before, to uh, Kyrg Kyrgyzstan. It ends up, um, everything's been A1, top notch. Uh, from the pickup at the airport to the hotel to camp camps uh, couldn't could not ask for anything better uh, animals every single day we've seen animals uh, plenty of them I ended up shooting mine on the fourth evening uh, great trophy great experience I'd recommend this hunt to anyone that wants an adventure. Um, extreme, um, uh, extreme uh, uh, wilderness uh, up in the mountains. Uh, definitely have to be in shape. I ended up, I got COVID uh, before and wasn't gonna come and I'm glad I did. It ended up, if anything, it's made me stronger, just being in the altitude and the fresh air. So I'd recommend this hunt to anyone that uh, would, wants to come. I mean, it's absolutely fa fabulous. Thank you. Okay, uh, good afternoon. We are, uh, this is like the, uh, October, late October, 2021. We are in uh, Nerin area, Kyrgyzstan. Uh, the hunt, I was uh, hunting with uh, a chief from uh, Global Safari. The hunt was uh, amazing. I shot my uh, my my uh, my apex, uh, good one. On the, on the second day, I'm still looking for the, an extra trophy today. So uh, the housing was very nice, warm. We got all the nice food every day. We never feel hungry. We always eating, eating, and eating. The area was so beautiful. The weather was perfect today. Uh, animal was plenty. Big, uh, big herd. Representative trophy, nice size. Uh, I think uh, this is a perfect hunting. First, first time for me hunting in the Central Asia. Definitely, I'm going. I'm coming back again. Hello guys, we in Kyrgyzstan as you know, so today is almost last day of our hunt. It's our result for these days, we have great trophies. I mean, now the preparation, last preparation, and we're trying to uh, get the trophy ready to take in. Hunters can take with themselves for all the state. So now the boiling, the bleaching, some skin preparation. So guys, here's a... Uh, Midasian Ibex and you're welcome to hunt with us. Thank you very much.